Even though it's 4,500 years old, the Great Pyramid of Giza still has some secrets. Recently, we discovered a new one, and we did it using subatomic particles from space. The particles in question are called muons, and they're like relatives of electrons if electrons really let themselves go. A muon has about 200 times more mass than an electron. They're generated when cosmic rays, usually protons from stars, collide with particles in our upper atmosphere. The newly formed muons rain down, and about 10,000 hit every square meter of the Earth's surface every minute. Now, you may have noticed, or not noticed rather, that you're not getting pummeled to death by a particle shower all the time. And that's because muons pass right through stuff with ease. It's what tipped off 1930s quantum physicists that what they were looking at wasn't some type of electron, but its own distinct elementary particle. Even though they can travel through the densest materials, that doesn't mean they're unaffected by them. Muons have a negative charge, meaning that when they come near electrons, their like charge repels the muon, deflecting it and slowing it down. Since muons decay into electrons and neutrinos after just two millionths of a second, really dense materials can slow some muons down enough to stop them, but many will still make it through. Scientists can use these properties to give them X-ray vision. Actually, it's better than X-ray vision, because X-rays can be blocked by dense materials, while muons come clean out the other side. Really, Superman should have had muon vision instead of dumb old X-ray vision. Yeah, I'm suggesting they nerfed Superman. Anyway, scientists can use muons to see through buildings using a technique called muon tomography. Muons travel more slowly through materials with higher atomic numbers. So by measuring how muons from cosmic rays are deflected when they pass through a big stone building, scientists can map out what they must have passed through. And there's no bigger or stonier building than the Great Pyramid of Giza. Well, technically there is, but you get the idea. Plus, since the pyramid is so dang old, it'd be best to explore it in a way that doesn't harm it. And for that, muon tomography is a perfect fit. In December of 2015, researchers put a muon detector inside the pyramid in what's known as the Queen's Chamber. Sure enough, their results showed a heretofore undiscovered void, and two separate teams using different kinds of muon detectors in different locations inside and outside the pyramid confirmed the findings. The void is the first new discovery of a major space inside the pyramid since the 19th century. Although scientists did try and use muon detectors inside it back in the 1960s, but the technology was not as sensitive then as it is now. Muon detectors have come a long way, especially since September 11, 2001, when fears of a terrorist attack spurred research into technology that could detect hidden nuclear weapons. Today, muon detectors can scan a 40-foot shipping container in 45 seconds, revealing any nuclear materials inside. And there's no use trying to hide a bomb by shielding it with lead, because the muons can go right through that too, and the scanners will just show that there's a bomb and some lead. As much as I'm glad that muon detectors are helping keep us safe, I just love that some mad genius thought to use them in the pyramids. Where else are you going to find such an awesome convergence of astronomy, particle physics, and Egyptology? Besides Stargate, obviously. Want more Seeker? You can find us on TV under the name Seeker Now. Watch Seeker Now on TBD Wednesdays, 9 p.m., 8 central. To find TBD in your area and stream it anywhere, download the TBD What's Next app or visit tbd.com. Thanks for watching Seeker. We're always making more videos, so you should go ahead and subscribe for more. Muon detectors have also been used at Fukushima to map out where nuclear materials are inside the damaged reactors. That disaster's still ongoing, and we've just found a new source of radiation. Trace has more on that here. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Seeker.